Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, Fine. Very well. You may go up to your rooms. Wait. Because Draco shrieks like a girl, everything's okay? Yep. <laughs> Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess. I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels. Does she really describe everything she wears in every chapter? When I came out, dot, 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 Draco was standing in front of the bathroom and he started to sing I Just Want to Live by Good Charlotte. I was so flattered even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and we kissed. After that, we said goodnight, and he reluctantly went back to his room. Who's Ebony? I only... Who's Ebony? All I know is Anobi. As you all know, author notes have nothing to do with the story. Yes, so, they do. So we need a chapter summary. Apparently, Dumbledore uh, is, a, is a somewhat cool in this story. She can spell Ludicrous correctly, but she can't spell her main character's name correctly. Yes. And if you shriek, everything becomes suddenly better. I'm gonna try that. Chapter six. <laughs> well, there's no. Up, oh, preps. Okay. Psst. I wanna update, but you give me good review vows. I guess they're getting married. They're renewing their vows. X X X whatever. The next day, I woke up in my coffin. I put on a black mask that was all wrapped around the end. Blah 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 and a matching towel of red skulls all over it, and high-heeled boots that were black. I put on two pairs of skull earrings, two crosses in my ears, and I spray-painted my hair with purple. Before you continue, I'd like to point out the fact that there's more description about what everyone's wearing than there's character development in the story. That is a development. <laughs> they wear- they go from- they go from black hair to purple hair! Ooh, in the Great Hall, <laughs> I ate twist. some count- Chocula cereal, blood instead of milk, because I'm hardcore. <laughs> and a glass of red blood. Suddenly someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled all over my top. She's having her period. Yes. Bastard, I shouted angrily. I regretted, I regretted saying it when I looked up, because I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair with red streaks in it. He was wearing so much eyeliner that I was going... Down his face. That I was going down his face. It doesn't say it. It was so wearing so much eyeliner that I was going down his face. He didn't have glasses anymore, and now he was wearing red contact lenses just like Draco's. And there was no scar on his for, for, for what? <laughs> I don't ever pronounce that. It, it's forehead, but they spelt the four part incorrectly. <laughs> He had Manly's double on his chin. Wait, before you he... continue, is this supposed to be Harry Potter? Yes. He had a sexy English accent. He looked exactly like Joel Madden. He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him. Kind of... When I saw him, kind of like an erection, only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one you sicko. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Okay, I'm so sorry, setting aside, boys. That's all right. What's your name? I question. My name's Harry Potter. What? Why the hell is Harry Potter in the story? <laughs> Although most people call me vampire these oh, days. Oh, that makes tons of sense. Cause <gasps> I can see where you can get vampire from Harry Potter. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. In the, I read the last book. I didn't have it in the at the end of the book. He became a vampire. Ah, so this is a sequel to a book that wasn't even written at this time. Yes. Okay. Why, I explained, because I love the taste of human blood, he giggled. That makes well, sense sense. Well, I am a vampire, I confessed. Really, he whimpered? Yeah, I roared. <laughs> really? He whimpered. Yeah! I roared. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember the part of Harry Potter where he became a vampire and he drank human blood? Yeah, I, I do. Know. I do, too. I think it's in the director's cut of the movie. <laughs> Just like when they built the Hot Topic. <laughs> yes. We sat down to talk for a while. Then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me. So I went away with him. Chapter summary. Hold on one sec. How come he goes he went he has a surprise for me, so I went with him? What? You need some sort of punctuation there. <laughs> okay, chapter summary. 
Harry Potter is a vampire now, and he belongs in the Twilight series. <laughs> yes. <laughs> chapter 7, Bring Me to Life. Apparently, you finally get chapter subtitles. Author's note. Will, okay, you guys, I am only writing this because I got five god <laughs> re reviews in the two. I won't write the next chapter till I get to. <laughs> till I get ten god bonds. <laughs> Is she supposed to be like the vampire from Sesame Street? And I won't write the next chapter till I get 10 god bonds! <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19! 10! 10. 10 god bonds! <laughs> Stow Flaming or Ill Report You, Ebony. Oh, now it's Ebony. Isn't a, isn't a Marie Sue, okay? She isn't perfect. She's a sa Satan It's! And, and she has problems. She's depressed for God's sake. Why is there a random Z? I don't know, but all Satanists are extremely depressed. Franco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing red sa Satanist sings on my nails in red nail polish. Author's note, see does that sound lick a maru su to you? <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> maru su to you? I waved, I waved to vampire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Wait. Is she je is he jealous of her because Who's Dark Misery? Is he is he jealous of Draco or is he jealous of her from having Draco? I don't know, but who's Dark Misery? <laughs> is that supposed to be Harry Potter? Anyway, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then dot 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 Has he ever read a book? We started Frenching passively, passively, and we took off each of each other's clothes enthusiastically. How do you take off your clothes enthusiastically? He, <laughs> no. he felt me up before I took of my top. Then I took off my black leather bra and he took off his pants. We went on the bed and started making out naked and then he put his boy's thingy in mine and we had sex. See, is that stupid? Again, no author's note there or anything. Who said that? Where's some random boys? I'm, I'm guessing. Going? I'm guessing the boys thingy said, "See, is that stupid?" Oh, and I'd like to point out, he put his boys thingy in mine. So does that mean that she has a? Th <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because earlier she says that uh, I was all hot, and then I got some erection. Well, I'm a girl, so I don't get one. You know. <laughs> Oh, Draco! Draco! I screamed while getting an orgasm when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. On it, in bloody gothic writing, were the words dot 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 VAMPIRE! Oh, he's dating Harry Potter! Wait, writing were the words VAMPIRE! I was so angry. You bastard! I shouted angrily. How dare you be gay? Jumping out of the bed. No, no, you, but you don't understand, Draco pleaded, but I knew too much. No, you fucking idiot! I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. But that didn't stop <laughs> you from having sex before. <laughs> Wait, so somehow making out with Harry Potter somehow magically got him AIDS. <laughs> Where is where is Dumbledore in this situation? We need more Dumbledore, like more cowbell. I put on my clothes all huffily, whatever that means, and then stomped out. Draco ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what, but I was too mad to care. 
Okay. I stomped out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom, where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker! I yelled. Chapter 8. No, 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 no. We need All a right, chapter right. summary. What, what can we take away from this chapter? Harry Potter... Okay, we learned that Harry Potter is a, is a gay vampire. Draco's a gay vampire. And Ebony... Still doesn't know what her name is. <laughs> is it Ebony, Ebony, or Ebony? <laughs> All I know is that the author's know for this chapter is stop flossing, okay? <laughs> if you do, then you are a prep. I, I think she's supposed to. I think she's trying to say stop flossing. So apparently, if you floss with uh, dental floss, you're a prep, and if you're a prep, that means you care about your teeth. Fuck! I was flossing like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> 